Hey, what's happening everybody? In this one, I wanna show you how to make sure your adaptive battery is turned on on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let's go. First off, come over here to your settings, scroll all the way down to battery and device care. Come over here, tap on battery. Now here's where it gets to me where it's actually buried. All right, you're gonna to go to more battery settings. Tap there and you're going to see adaptive battery on. now. This should be turned on by default. Uh, it might not be, you know, you just never know. You want to make sure your adaptive battery is turned on. That way your phone learns all of your patterns, your usage, and all that. That way you can take advantage of this 5,000 milliamp battery that's in your phone. Also, you have what's called your performance profile. I should probably make a separate video for that. This is separate from your game booster, okay? Your game, inside of your game booster, there's different settings, but anyway, Tap on this right here and you can see what's happening there. So if you leave it on standard where you're supposed to, it provides the recommended balance between processing speed, battery life, and cooling efficiency. Now, if, say you're to put it on light, say you're one of those battery people, one of those people that's obsessed with like the best battery life ever. Uh, yeah, go ahead, put it, tap it on light, but it prioritizes, prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency power over processing speed. But just so you know, this doesn't this doesn't apply to games. You can manage game performance in game boosting settings. All right, so something for you to uh, think about there. All right, and here's some of your other battery settings that you do need to know about. Uh, show your battery percentage. I got that. Show charging information. I don't have that turned on, but if you do, show your battery level and estimated time until the full. Well, yeah. So if you want to turn that on, you can. I don't recommend it. Look, I I do want good battery life, but I'm not like crazy obsessed with it. And I don't recommend you get crazy obsessed with it either because back in the day, I was obsessed with battery life and it makes using the phone not fun. All right, next, fast charging. I have that turned on. Now look, people, if you're going to be keeping your phone, if you know you're keeping this phone four years, turn that off. Why? That way your phone just charges normal. Your battery doesn't heat up and it'll make your battery last longer and your battery will degrade slower. All batteries degrade whether we like it or not. And it's uh, your battery's life cycle is based off of uh, charging cycles. If that makes any sense. So try to, anyway, yes. Uh, fast wireless charging, I got that turned on as well. Look, and I'll be straight up, because I'm, you know, I upgrade, as you all know, I upgrade my Samsung phones every year. I'm always getting the latest and greatest Galaxy because I love Samsung phones, all right? And next, this one's important here. If you want to protect your battery, to extend the lifespan of your battery, limit the maximum charge to 85%. Now, I'm kind of old school when it comes to batteries. I've always believed it was good for, because batteries have memory, I guess, whatever. I'm kind of like, after seeing, you know, the way battery technology has advanced, so you really don't got to worry about that. So if you really did want to get the most out of this phone and battery life, I'm talking about years and years, and you'd activate that, you'd turn that on, all right? But anyway, hopefully y'all learned something from this video. Thank all you good people for watching, and I will catch all of you in the next one. Take care.